if you stand down here and look up at Lord Nelson, there are certain angles that, where he looks as if he's playing with his willy. Welcome to Down Street subway station. Opened in 1907, closed 1932, and all painted over for the war effort. Churchill used to come down here and live down here, bathe down here, sleep down here, eat. A whole squad of people, lots and lots of people, secretaries, office workers, kitchen staff, all down here. I'll show you some stuff. Now, this is the colour pattern for Down Street Station. And the reason for this is really weird. In 1907, the majority couldn't read, or an awful lot of people couldn't read, and they would go by the colour to tell where they were. Isn't that extraordinary? And this here, they reckon, was Winston's bath. Have a look at that. This is where he splashed around smoking a cigar. After all the cigars and the brandy, Winston would want a wee sleep. And they reckon this was his bedroom here because he would be first. Nice cosy room with the trains rumbling by here. And this is the quiet side. The workers had the noisy side next to the tunnel. His bed would have been here. It's like a caravan, you know. There'd be shelves here for books and notes and files. And down here is all mucky and wet and horrible. And this is the, the toilet where the executive of the war effort would come and relieve themselves. But apparently this bathroom was used by 60 people. So I guess the seat was never cold. And here is the ladies' bathroom. As you can see, there's an old boiler stayed behind. Nothing. I'm waiting for a train here, and it's going to take me to Green Park Station. Now, this is a dead station, <laughs> as you can see. But I have my light and I'm going to signal. When this train comes, I'm going to signal them to stop with my mighty red light. I just thought I'd have a wee look that, that way in case I'd made the ultimate mistake. This is power. Stop London trains. I told you I'd be big someday. So I either stop the train or lose my arm here. Oh, and it's going to Cockfosters, my favourite station. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, I'm Billy Connolly. We're coming through filming. Can I go through there? You want to go through? Hi. Thanks very much. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. How are you doing? <laughs> you all right? Hello, I bet you're wondering why I sent for you. Hello. <laughs> what, what an odd position. <laughs> it's a great entrance, isn't it? See you later. It's just dawned on me. Because we, we jumped on the train back there, I don't have a ticket. <laughs> and I have no money. Times may change, but standards must remain. We can't have gum-chewing louts coming up these stairs to affect the bells. Are you ready for this? This is the face of what everybody knows as Big Ben. This is the clock face. 
Big Ben is actually the bell upstairs. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is, this is where Richard Hannay in 39 Steps hung on to the hands outside. And that's what lights it up at night time, all these light bulbs. Isn't that good? So this, this is where the, the works are. See them here? This is the words to the chime. I didn't even know there was words. And the music is from Handel's Messiah. So it goes, all through this hour, Lord, be my guide, that by thy power no fruit shall slide. Hello! Quarter to two, and all's well! Does a guy take the picture? Look, he doesn't know I'm in it. It's nice to be a vandal and an upsetter. Maybe when he gets it developed at home, he'll see this. And maybe it'll become the ghost of Westminster. The face at the window. This is Big Ben, and it's got four other wee or smaller bells here. They should have names, but they don't. They've got numbers. They're all ding da, bing bong, dee da, dee da. And he's the bong. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's a little known fact, sad but true, that when Guy Fox was caught trying to set fire and blow up this building, they dragged him upstairs and put his private parts between the hammer and the bell. And it was only half 12, he had to wait for half an hour for that come clattering down. <laughs> oh, little known fact, not a lot of people know that. Here is the news. Promising young Scottish comedian goes deaf in Tower of Westminster. 